Amid the overturning of Roe v. Wade, Pennsylvania abortion rights advocates say pro-life organizations are being funded using federal welfare money. So now they're calling for change. According to the State Department of Human Services, the Commonwealth has been using taxpayer welfare dollars to fund crisis pregnancy centers since 1995. Pro-choice advocates say these centers prevent people from accessing reproductive health care, while pro-life supporters say their services are helping women. As Fox 43's Matt Kleindens reports, this debate doesn't center around the policies of the centers, but rather the funding behind them. These programs should have um, basic accountability and oversight. Tara Murtha with the Women's Law Project says Pennsylvania diverts money away from needy families and towards crisis pregnancy centers. Crisis pregnancy centers are pro-life organizations that persuade pregnant mothers from having abortions. In a recent PA Senate hearing, the Department of Human Services stated that $60 million were used to fund these organizations using both taxpayer dollars and welfare funds from the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families program. The 2022 budget included $7 million in additional funding, including $1 million from TANF funds. What that means is that the state is taking safety net money and then funneling that money, taking that money away from the families and funneling it to anti-abortion executives to oversee a chain of crisis pregnancy centers purporting to be committed to helping the very people that the money was just siphoned away from. In a statement to Fox 43, Real Alternatives, a Harrisburg-based crisis pregnancy center, said they have been able to help nearly 60,000 women using TAMP funds. The organization says they've also received praise for its program by the HHS. The state DHS reaffirmed the Shapiro's administration's stance in the right to choose alternatives to abortion. However, they added there are serious concerns with deceptive practices used at CPCs. We found that 65 percent of crisis pregnancy centers in Pennsylvania promote false and misleading medical claims. Mirtha argues that TAMP funds should provide more assistance to families rather than fund CPCs. It's both, in my view, an unethical coercion of participation in these programs for people who are just seeking a basic material good that they need in their life. Um, as well as um, financially inefficient. Matt Kleindens, Fox 43 News. Pennsylvania is one of nine states across the country to use TAMP funds to support crisis pregnancy centers.